Hi again, I'm Mr. Bullock with B&B Test Prep. Uh, this short video is just going to go cover some percent problems. Okay, percents, uh, uh, they like to do percents on the SAT. A simple percent, I set them up like this, and I used to teach uh, middle school, and I taught this uh, strategy to my middle school kids, and it works, so I'm, I'm sure you'll understand this. Uh, no offense, no offense, uh, just people uh, uh, forget percents. Uh, Anyway, so percents, you do a fraction, you guys, and this is how I do uh, percents. This is how I teach percents. I tell them to make a fraction equaling a fraction, and when you have a fraction equaling a fraction, you can do a, a procedure that's called cross-multiplication, and everybody's done that. So uh, this is the first thing I do. The first thing I do is I put the number 100 right there. And then the second thing I do is I look for the, the percent, so whatever percent that's involved in the problem, that's what I put right there. And then over here, this is what I do third, I go over in this position third. I look for the word of, and, I, and then it, what's right after the word of goes right here, okay? And then this is always my leftover stuff, I call it my leftover. And it's usually right around the word is. It's either right before it or right after that. And then, uh, so then you have a fraction equal and a fraction. And the, so one of them is going to be x, and you can cross multiply and solve for that. Okay. Uh, also on percents, they like to do, uh, the test uh, makers on the SAT, uh, like to do a percent increase and a percent decrease. And a lot of times I've seen uh, graphs or like a bar graph uh, where they... Uh, they have a bar up here and they want to know what's the percent increase from this bar to this bar. So what you got to do on percent increase or percent decrease, and I'll do this right here, percent increase or decrease is this. You find the difference of the two. So you subtract, so and I'm going to call it the change. You find the change between the two of them and this is always, your bottom number is always your original number, your starting point right there. So it's just change divided by original number. Don't forget to move the decimal over two places to the right when you're done. And that'll give you percent increase and percent decrease. Slam dunk. Okay? All right, and then I'm going to move over to my computer and I'm going to go over some percent problems with you uh, that we teach in our class.